three, two, one, it's showtime. Hello, my name is Dr. Evan Esquire. I am here today from Science Explorers. I feel like at this point, I really should make it abundantly clear, not a doctor, not actually a doctor, but what I am an expert in is having fun. And that's what I want to do today. I can't visit your schools, so I thought it would be way more fun if we worked together and had some fun uh, via online. We're gonna be making these videos just so you can all have fun and be entertained at home during these times. And I would love it if you shared these videos with your friends. I want so, as many people to have fun as possible. Today we are talking about how we can avoid spreading germs. Now everyone knows they're supposed to wash our hands. I'm gonna do a whole other video just about hand washing. But for now, we're gonna talk about some of our tips, tricks, and hacks for how we can avoid you know, spreading germs as much as possible. So when should you wash your hands? I'll tell you when you should wash your hands out. Anytime you cough or you sneeze or you blow your nose or you use the bathroom, leaving the house, getting back into the house, uh, you know, uh, before eating, after eating, uh, when you think you should, and also even when you don't think you should. Uh, just have some fun with it, I don't care. So everyone knows the vampire cough and everything. I can't find my vampire teeth and boy am I upset about that. But we know the vampire cough also do that for sneezes and yawns. It's a, just a good place, uh, you know, if you can't find a tissue. You should use a tissue if you do have the option, but if you don't, eh. So we're also not shaking hands and we're not hugging and we're not giving high fives, which trust me, it's tough. I am very good at high fives. And instead what we're doing now, we're curtsying. We're giving a nice little curtsy. And uh, it's a nice little classy way to say, how you doing? Also, we're gonna be using our elbows. The elbows, not as good as hands, but that's what we got right now. And that's what we're gonna be uh, making do with. You know, when sometimes you get those door handles with those, you can do it, but other times, not always the best option. Now, here's something I've been doing for when I can't avoid a doorknob I don't wanna touch, is I have been wearing an outfit. <laughs> And uh, I bet you're, uh, you know, a lot of you're thinking, wow, that's a really good outfit, thank you. Also, it's very good for avoiding germs because I can do this little guy right here and get the door with my shirt. For example, there we go. Hello, sir, I'm like, uh, looking to come into your shop uh, and the door is currently closed. I can go, hey, how you doing? Door open, hand clean, we're living large. Wearing a nice little overshirt is very in style. I think they call it Brooklyn chic. Other ways that we can really do a great job of avoiding spreading germs is, uh, you know, besides the overshirt, and here's something that I'm very guilty of, is biting our nails. We're not doing it, kids. Trust me, I've been doing it for too long, and we are giving that up, because that's one of the worst ways to spread germs, is by biting our nails, because then we're spreading germs to our hands, from our hands to our mouth, from our mouth to our hands, and I'm giving up on the lab coat. So, our friends, we are talking about biting our nails. We cannot be doing it right now. It's one of the worst ways to spread germs and none of us want to do that. So what I've been doing is I have been using clear nail polish, put it on my nails, and I only had to taste it once to never bite my nails again. I will say, you don't have to use clear nail polish. Everyone deserves to feel fabulous. So if you want to go for red, then you get to go for red and you get to really just, you know, make yourself feel pretty. That's what I'm, I think we all deserve to feel pretty, especially right now. Look at that. So we're not biting our nails and we're also doing something you probably have all heard of called social distancing. Social distancing. Social distancing is all about not having our germs within proximity of other people. Now we can't see the germs, but the germs are coming out of my mouth right now as I speak. Uh, germs are on the things I'm touching. So we're trying to minimize the amount of people who come in contact with those germs. That's why we're staying home, keeping our germs at home, and we're not going out and we're not picking up other people's germs and bringing them home. A way you can think about this though is just even not touching other people, but you're, yeah, you know, you're not getting within proximity of other people. Because when you sneeze, you cough, or you're around someone who's doing that, it's kind of in the air, you can't see it. So one way you can think about it is just grab some of your toys, preferably some of the soft ones. I got nail polish on my beach ball now. Let's pretend these are all different germs that we have. And we all have germs with us. And when we're out in public and we're talking and we're sneezing and we're coughing and we're laughing, we are throwing our germs all around. And 
If you do that, you can see where they land and you can think, that's where my germs are going. So you wanna be thoughtful of where your germs are going. Now, also, those are the germs that are moving around from you. There's the germs from the things that you touch and the reason you can pick up germs with your hands without realizing it and you can also put down germs without realizing it is that your hands have oils on them and germs, dirt, and oil, they all like to hang out together and that's what's causing them to stick to your hands. So think about like a bubble. When we touch a bubble, it pops. And the reason for that is that there's soap in the bubble solution and the soap gets confused. It's, it forgets that it's supposed to be being a bubble and it goes into cleaning mode. When the soap, when it comes into contact with oils, dirt, and germs, that's when the bubble pops. And it doesn't matter how hard you wash your hands, you're always gonna have some oils on your hands. And that's actually a really good thing to have oils on your hands in general, because otherwise they get dry, like mine. So the oils that are on your hands, they're always gonna be popping the bubbles because soap likes to attack dirt, germs, and oil. So what we want to do is we want to block the dirt, germs, and oils from our hands. And the way I'm going to do that is by taking one of these little glove guys. And this is just a normal glove from the store. And this is something I want you to try at home if you have a chance. Since the oils, dirt, and germs are blocked from my hands, the bubble, the soap that's in the bubble, gets to keep being soap in a bubble. And that's what causes the bubbles to bounce off the glove and eventually pop instead of popping right away. And this, these are just normal gloves from the dollar store. They're just kind of cottony gloves. You can definitely try this at home. It's a whole lot of fun and it's not going to work every time. I will say smaller bubbles do work better. And you know, I've even tried juggling these bubbles before and uh, it didn't work because I do not know how to juggle. All right, so that's something fun that you should try at home. See if you can get the bubbles to bounce on the gloves and see how it reacts compared to the oily hands that you're using otherwise. So I just want to thank you so much for watching today. I want to do as many of these as possible so that we can all keep having fun and learning. And uh, it's a pleasure. So please share these with all your friends. I want to spread as much fun and joy as we can. And, uh, you know, most importantly, uh, you know, be kind to each other because uh, the way we get through things is... Uh, when we do what we can for each other. Woo! Showbiz. All right.